Now and again over the summer, we're going to follow up on some Sunday morning stories we think worthy of an update. And to start us off, Ted Koppel shares a most harmonious ending for a story that has its beginnings on a street corner in New Orleans. <laughs> The intersection of Royal Street and St. Peter in New Orleans is known as Doreen's Corner. As we reported back in January of 2022, Doreen Ketchens is a local institution. On the street, Doreen dresses for the weather. And most of the time, it's hot and sticky in the Big Easy. But there we were, Doreen and I, in Louis Armstrong Park, and Doreen got all dressed up for our interview. And maybe that's what prompted me to ask her where she dreams of playing someday. Kennedy Center, Carnegie Hall, Albert Hall. Albert Hall? Yeah, and then what I can wear something shiny. So I'm sitting at home with my wife watching Sunday morning, and you interview Doreen and you ask her, so where would you like to play? And she looked right at you and said, the Kennedy Center. Kevin Struthers is the director of jazz programming at the Kennedy Center. Well, I about fell off my couch. The next morning when I got to work, people were calling and within a few hours, I had Doreen's cell phone. The first thing she said to me after she let out a little scream was, I should have asked for a million dollars. There she is! You can figure out where it went from there. We're so glad you're here. I'm so glad to be here. Thank you. We caught up with Doreen just a couple of weeks ago when she was about to make her Kennedy Center debut. I'll make you proud. Everything about the Kennedy Center is designed to impress. From its location on the banks of the Potomac River, with views of the Washington Monument and the Lincoln Memorial, to the scale of its grand foyer. Now that we are here, I mean, just soak it in, Doreen. A headline performer. Yes. Today. It's awesome. So what does that do? That shoots through me like lightning. It lets me know that it's not all for nothing. You can dream and you can shoot for the stars and you can get there. It's really cool. Soak it in. Yes, indeed, I'm soaking it in. In the afternoon, the band got some time on stage for a sound check. These are all tough flight musicians in their own right. That's Stephen Walker on trombone. Dave Hammer on guitar. He's been with the band seven years. Herman LeBeau Jr. on drums, he and Doreen go back more than 20 years. And the gentleman with the big brass sousaphone, that's Doreen's husband, Lawrence. Doreen, by my watch, we're about 10 minutes to showtime. 10 minutes. You've been doing this for so many years now. Does it make a difference where it is, whether the gig is on the street in, in New Orleans or here at the Kennedy Center in Washington. Big difference? Mm, I'm so looking forward to, you know, just being better than even they expect us to be. I'm really looking forward to trying to hold that audience in my hands. You got a full house. Really? Sweet. This is the uh, Places Call Fame. Places, please. It's showtime. Okay, good. That's jazz icon Dee Dee Bridgewater passing on some positive vibes. January 30th, 2022. Kevin Struthers is on stage now, telling that story again. Where would you like to play? And she looked right at him and said, the Kennedy Center. I called her, she picked up the phone, I told her who I was. She screamed and said, I should have asked for a million dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Kennedy Center stage, Doreen Ketchens. For the longest time, jazz in New Orleans was mostly a guy's club. Female singers, oh yes, but 
Among jazz musicians, Doreen is something of a pioneer for women. And her long notes, a legendary walk. It's all over in what seems like no time. Doreen had said she wanted to hold the audience in her hands. Well, she and the band got a standing O. And Doreen got called back for an encore. participating and you're done good. listening to trying to tell you man it's all about it looking forward to the next time of course <laughs> oh man <laughs>